The Sunshine State is a leader when it comes to business on the water. The lawmakers and civic leaders have said for years that the Port of Jacksonville makes a huge economic impact. Tonight, there's plenty of proof that's true. The new data showing the benefit to our region and to the entire state of Florida. Lots of people on hand for an announcement about the impact of Florida's maritime industry. Congressman John Rutherford got right to the point. This industry just here in Northeast Florida brings 9,120 American jobs. Rutherford and his congressional colleagues from Florida have fought for federal funding. And here in Jacksonville, state and local dollars have made a difference too. The current project is to deepen the harbor and bring even larger ships into the port. Even so, Jacksport already delivering big on dollars and jobs to the region. The total gross national impact to uh, Northeast Florida is nearly $2 billion annually. Florida has a vibrant ship operating industry, including a major center based here in Jacksonville. Jacksport's chief executive joined leaders from Tote and Crowley, leaders in the maritime industry, and companies that have moved their headquarters to Jacksonville. The new report sponsored by the Transportation Institute and Advocacy Group for the Industry found that all told, shipping creates over $154 billion in total economic output, and it sustains over 650,000 jobs. $41 billion in annual labor income. And Florida's role brings almost 21,000 jobs across the state. You can't have a city without good jobs. And you've heard the statistics on how many jobs they are. there are. These are permanent, high quality, great jobs supporting all of us. The newly formed Florida Maritime Partnership protects statewide ports from threats to the Jones Act. Now that Jones Act means only American-built vessels with American crews can transport merchandise between domestic ports.